This is called Poem of Commitment, and, and uh, it's dedicated to three-year-old Antonino Guerra. I wrote it right after we lost the, um, the fight to, to, to keep bilingual education in California. We've lost a lot of fights out there. On the other hand, we're still fighting, so. Because cowards attack by committee and others kill with bullets while some numb by numbers, bleeding the body and the language of a child, and because, as far as I can tell, less than a thousand flowers blooming means a putrid termination of night jasmine randomly transporting strangers into close caress proximity, and sometimes even more than that, sometimes jasmine startles the entire sleeping world awake with lust for what can't be accounted for. And sometimes even more than that, a thousand flowers wilted on a locked down classroom windowsill, and sometimes even more than that, the bleached, the monotone interposition of all regulations for the changing face of fire. Who would behold the colorings of a cloud and legislate its shadows, legislate its shine? Or confront a cataract of rain and seek, seek to interdict its speed and suffocate its sound? Or disappear the trees behind a nomenclature no one knows by heart? or count the syllables that invoke the mother of my tongue, or say the game goes the way of the wind, and the wind blows the way of the ones who make and break the rules. And because, as far as I can tell, less than a thousand children as particular, as dark as pine needle earth at dusk, as pink as the pastel crenellations of a sea-struck shell, as brown as the spread wings of a, tarling, a starling, as Cantonese, Nigerian, and Irish, as a thousand words that violate the law, that violates a kiss beyond syntactical control. Because, because, because as far as I can tell, less than a thousand children playing in the garden of a thousand flowers means the broken neck of birds. I commit my body and my language to the sheltering of any Antonio, Tyrone, Valerie, Yun Jung, just about to choose his or her own name for the family and the strangers still not listening to the great good news of his or her own voice. <laughs>